are going in Autriche right now and our first stop will be the North Railway Station when, where you'll see all vulnerable groups homeless people, Roma, drug users, injectable drug users and sex workers you'll see heroin users basically legal highs users, injectable legal highs users and you'll see sniffers, blue sniffers age range we have starting with 11 year old summer until 35, 40 years old in this area. What's your name? We have to spend up to spend. What's your name? The the Kutim place. The shop is closed. The trail is in the shop. The shop is in the village. We have to spend the trail. We can't get it. Bob, drink a mini. Bob, eat a. Who are you? I can't get it. I'm not going to get it. Yes, yes, yes. Asta da, mai multe nu pot să vă dau, nu mai am de unde să vă dau. The clients you'll see today, most of them, 90% of them, are living in the sewage system. And I can even show you the hole that they use as an entrance and as an, and as an exit from the sewage system. This is the entrance. Aici e intrarea în canal, nu? Da. Aici a fost acoperit. This was uh, covered by the... City Hall, the primary, no? It's a measure <laughs> of uh, police to eradicate the street people from Bucharest, just to cover with uh, dirt the entrance in the sewer. But not while they are inside. Uh, unfortunately, some of them was were inside. And what happened? Would they die? Uh, no, the the ones that were outside uh, somehow knew. And they started to dig, <laughs> like in the primitive era. How many people live down there? Oh, a lot of people. It's a huge uh, sewer. Hello, Beti Arasu, Abeit Arasu, Hala Serinj. In 2009, the legal high scheme and the injecting and the use patterns changed totally because the heroin user went for the legal highs. They were cheaper, accessible, and so-called legal. So they weren't under the law. So less riskier for them to use. An experienced heroin user would shoot up to four, five, six times a day. When they went for legal highs, they would shoot 10, 15, 20 times a day. In 2009, 2008, even 2010, we one client out of 100 clients tested was positive. And right now, out of seven or eight client tests, four, five, or even six are HIV positive to the rapid tests. How do you see the government's reaction to this? There's, there's no reaction whatsoever right now. And for example, the project that you're visiting right now will end in uh, on June 30th, and uh, we have right now no. Uh, no hope of continuing this project. Is the government funding any harm reduction program? No, the government isn't funding harm reduction in Romania. Infectarea cu uh, virusul HIV este una dintre uh, problemele care au avut uh, o evoluție ascendentă în ultima perioadă de timp. De exemplu, în anii 2008-2009, prevalența, incidența infectării era de 1% în rândul populației de consumatori de droguri injectabile. În anul 2010 a crescut la 3%. În anul 2011 aceasta a atins cifra de 19% iar în 2012 a ajuns la 29%. Nowadays almost uh, 50% of the patients that come for detox are uh, HIV infected. I don't speak uh, of C hepatitis uh, which is 98% huge. We estimate that we have around 27,000 problematic users, maybe two-thirds of them are using legal highs, only one-third is still on heroin. 
at the end of 2010, I saw practically no heroin addicted patient, but uh, only these kind of substances with uh, very serious disorders, suicidal attempts, weight violence, and uh, with uh, psychotic symptoms. I'm talking about MDPV, methylene dioxypyrovalerone, which was the most uh, dangerous substance. They inject those new substances uh, very frequently. We had an increase in the number of IV users with a halfening in the number of syringes provided through the exchange programs. In 2010, in June, the money for the, from the Global Fund were finished because Romania was already a Union, European Union state, so we were not more eligible to take these funds. So these funds were providing uh, almost 80% from the needle exchange money. So from a maximum of 2 million syringes around in 2009, in 2010 we dropped to less than 1 million. They had to inject themselves a great number of times with the same needle or to share the same needle. It was very clear that uh, something happened and uh, that uh, there was uh, not at all uh, enough uh, uh, injecting materials uh, on the market. We are in Ferenta neighborhood, it's one of the worst neighborhoods in Bucharest related to drug use, drug trafficking and drug consumption. Basically you are volunteers, we, all, we understood that it's a need to provide pin needles to drug users and we are trying to stop the HIV phenomenon among drug users. This is the needle exchange room, we give them 30 syringes each day. We are open two times a week for three hours. We also collect the syringes used. Is there any change in the financial situation after the HIV epidemic? Does it convince the politicians to give you money? Or no, no, we don't have any funds from this center. What about those people who, who inject the stimulants and designer drugs? What kind of treatment they can go? Basically, they can go to detox, but for detox, there aren't uh, many open clinics. There are about 70 places in detox treatment under supervision. In Bucharest we have more than 19,000 drug users and only 1,000 uh, places on opioid substitution treatment. And uh, substitution treatment for legal highs isn't any. This is not developed yet. People don't have any other option than to use or or to quit themselves, which is not good. If you get, uh, you are caught with a small quantity of drugs, even if it's 0 0.001, you get uh, possession. That's um, imprisonment to six years, depends on the type of drug. And for trafficking, it's five to 15 years, I think. Sida, 
E un dezastru. Văd ce-ți acum la cineva, eu văd să spun și vă garantez că o să găsesc sânge și pe jos. Deci și ajuns mai mult ca afară. Mă sperea că nu vezi să vede sânge pe jos, pe toate secțiile alea. Nu ai ce să vede. N-am văzut atât de mulți consumatori. Într-o gașă de 10-15 persoane, toți folosesc acea singură. When they begin to ban the legal highs, and you cannot uh, find them very easily, the dealers went to the uh, internet cafe, and he will have in one syringe five doses. So with the same syringe, he was injecting five clients. We, the outreach uh, services, tried to convince him, okay, we provide you with five free syringes. So we will have five syringes with one dose. And they say no, because if someone caught me, they say I'm a dealer. If I have one syringe, it's only for me and I, can, I can get away easier because it's only possession. There should be legal changes in the sense of uh, decriminalization of uh, uh, possession for personal use that would ease the access of people who use drugs to medical and social care. By uh, the end of June, uh, some, uh, some harm reduction programs might, might stop. And by harm reduction services, I also understand opiate substitution treatment centers. We run a three years project funded by uh, social, European social funds. And for three years, we were, we were able to provide services for uh, harm reduction services for 3,300 uh, people in Bucharest, Constanza and Timisoara. But our project will finish in June this year. About two or three hundred people uh, in substitution tri and treatment will be left out. A lot of uh, in injectors will, will no longer have access to clean syringes. And this would be just factors for increasing the epidemic. From the experience of other countries, like Ukraine and like, I don't know, Estonia, I think we'll be going in that direction, and which means up to 70 or 80 percent of our drug users will be HIV positive, which will mean uh, doubling the number of HIV positive people in Romania. That will mean a big, big, big hole in the budget with treatment for HIV. In order to provide needles for a, a drug user, the cost per year is uh, 500 euros, whereas uh, the a ARV treatment for a uh, uh, HIV is 6,000 euros, so it's 12 times higher. Also, a month in prison costs the state and actually the, the population 500 euros per month. With this, the same money you could uh, provide uh, harm reduction services for a much longer time. The government should understand that um, an effective way to intervene is to support the community-based organizations and grassroots organizations that have the best con cont uh, contact with with drug users and to support them in order to provide this uh, HIV-targeted intervention. We ask the international community to help us. Uh, we found yesterday that Romania, uh, the, the Global Fund changed their uh, funding system and we are now eligible for Global Fund if the Romanian government will cover 60% from the total budget. So that can be a possibility. This is the right moment for us to start the negotiations with the Global Fund in order to uh, ease the, the budgetary um, problem and uh, with international support to sustain the services that we managed to develop until today. Many people say Romania it's, you know, it's uh, the economical crisis, you do not have money. I can say that the money exists, they are not very well administrated. This is the situation. We just know what the solutions are, but we're not able to take the right measures to save people's lives. This is not only a national problem, this is a European problem too. Thank you.